Hi, my name is Martinez and I'm continuing my series about Pixelmeter Pro. Today I want to show a quick tutorial how to make an inception effect using Pixelmeter Pro. Well, it's quite old effect, probably not that relevant or interesting or desirable as it was like five years ago, but hey, uh, we are just here to learn and uh, to make the best out of this program. So let's start. So here I downloaded an image from unsplash.com which provides free to use images and big shout to Frank Makina for this nice um, beach image. The first thing uh, we need to do is to duplicate this image. That would be a command, uh, command plus J. And then I press command plus T to transform the image. Press the right mouse button and press rotate 90 degrees to the right. Then I align this image with the corner and then I also press uh, flip horizontally. Now I press enter. From here I need to grab something that would allow me to make a mask. We grab a free selection tool. From here I need to put a point, then hold shift and my line doesn't go away. So I can make almost ideal uh, selection. And uh, then I press uh, the right button on the on this layer, hold Option key and press Add Mask. And so here we have one side of the image that already is bended and looks quite interesting, I would say. To make the right side of the image in the same style, I need to go back to my original layer, duplicate it using Command plus J, transform it using Command plus T. Then pressing the right mouse button and rotating to the right, aligning the image, flipping it vertically, pressing the enter button and uh, drawing the mask. And then I have to press a right button on the image layer, hold option key on the keyboard and press add mask. As you can see, we already have pretty good start, I would say. Uh, but let's add some spark to this image. I want to add some shadows here in this corner. So to make this image uh, stand out a little bit more. So what I need to do is create an image layer. Press the right button and create a clipping mask. So all uh, effects would uh, be applied just to this layer. Grab a gradient tool. I use uh, black to transparent uh, fill and then I try to make some shadows. And now let's do the same to the ground image, to the background image. Let's create a layer, create a clipping mask. So here we added some shadows. Uh, don't worry about uh, these lines, we can improve it using a mask and delete it. So let's add a mask to each uh, adjustment layer and use a dark brush tool to remove it. So now let's add some uh, liveliness into this image. Here is another image uh, of the man walking on the sand. So what I'm going to do is to cut this man out from this image and uh, use maybe a magnetic tool, I think so. Now what I'm going to do is to duplicate this layer and create uh, a shadow of this man. I press Command plus T, press uh, right mouse button, press rotate eight, 180 degrees, press flip horizontally and then play with perspective tools here as well as some angles and uh, scale. Then press uh, edit, load selection, go on to my copied layer and then I need to refine the selection to make it softer. So what I need to do is to press command plus option plus R and that uh, gives us um, the options for the mask where you can soften expand it. So 
so here is my very rough uh, shadow uh, for sure it is not properly made yet it needs to be refined um, what else we can add is probably some birds so we have already prepared a layer I can open it here and transform it now I would say uh, we need to repair a sky um, to get rid of this line so I will merge all layers for this whole image and we'll try to use a repair tool I would say it did a pretty good job also we need to make slight changes to this guy appearance so uh, he would be more appropriate to the whole scene probably use some filters we can also create a layer with the effects any effect you like from stock form So here is our final inception style image um, and as you can see going from this image to this image is quite a big difference um, but still you can see what's possible and you can add so much more to the whole final scene so i think that's it for today thank you for watching and hope to see you next time